Jesus was talking about his impending rejection, suffering, death, and ultimate resurrection when Peter interrupted. He interrupted and criticized Jesus for what he was saying. Jesus was declaring the power of letting go of control precisely as Peter tries to control the moment, the message, and the man. Peter found out in that exchange that trying to control Jesus will get you labeled Satan. Whenever we're talking about control, we should be investigating motivations for exerting control, especially our own. What may have been controlling Peter that day was fear. Fear is always seeking to motivate us, always subtly vying for control of us, stalking and shaping our worldview, our politics, our relationships, even our lives with God. There is a direct correlation between how much we attempt to control others and our own lack of freedom. What Jesus was proclaiming openly before he was interrupted was his refusal to be obsessed with control over his reputation, his enemies, the nature of his death, or the means by which God would redeem the situation. But Jesus goes further. He uses Peter's faux pas to gather and instruct a crowd on how to be free. Keeping one's mind on divine things rather than human things is where he starts. Pragmatically, that looks like the daily application of Jesus' words, stories, and example to all we encounter. And then he picks up where he was before the interruption. The only way to save your life is to give it to God. Otherwise, you'll squeeze the thing so tight it will become lifeless. That so many of us struggle with fear-induced control issues is understandable, but it's not inescapable. Notice, even Jesus doesn't try to control us. Just an invitation into a deeper relationship with the one who can be trusted with the control of all the worlds.